What's going on, world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love. And today I wanted to take a quick look at the boxer. Before we dive in, don't forget to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also, feel free to visit BattlebredK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. Now, in my experience, the boxer is all tongue, no bite. But lately, I have come across quite a few working examples of the breed who have changed my mind completely. So the boxer is technically considered to be part of the Molosser group. The breed was developed in Germany in the late 19th century from crossing the now extinct Bullenbeiser, a dog of Mastiff descent, with the early Bulldogs brought in from Great Britain. Now the Bullenbeiser had been working as a hunting dog for centuries, employed in the pursuit of bear, wild boar, and other large game. Its job was to seize the prey and hold it until the hunters arrived. In later years, faster dogs were favored and a smaller Bullenbeiser was bred in Brabant in northern Belgium. According to most, the Brabant Bullenbeiser was a direct ancestor of today's boxer. In 1894, three German breed enthusiasts decided to stabilize the breed and put it on exhibition at a dog show. The show actually took place in Munich in 1896, and the following year they founded the first boxer club, the Deutscher Boxer Club. The club went on to publish the first boxer breed standard in 1904, a document that has not been changed too much to this day. The breed was later introduced to other parts of Europe in the late 19th century and to the United States around the turn of the 20th century. The American Kennel Club registered the first boxer in 1904 and recognized the first boxer champion in 1915. During World War I, the boxer was employed for military work, acting as a valuable messenger dog, pack carrier, attack dog, and guard dog. It wasn't until after World War II that the boxer became popular around the world. Taken home by returning soldiers, they were introduced to a wider range of people and soon became a favorite as a companion, show dog, and guard dog. The name Boxer is supposedly derived from the breed's tendency to play by standing on its hind legs and boxing with its front paws. According to Andrew H. Brace's Pet Owner's Guide to the Boxer, this theory is actually the least plausible explanation. The Boxer is a smart, energetic, and playful breed, and they tend to be very good with children. They are patient and spirited, but also protective, making them a popular choice for families. They are active, strong dogs that require a good bit of exercise to prevent boredom-associated problems such as chewing, digging, or obsessive licking. Boxers have earned a slight reputation of being headstrong, which can be related to inappropriate obedience training. The Boxer by nature is not an aggressive or vicious dog. It's an instinctive guardian and is very attached to its family. Like all dogs, it does require proper socialization. Boxers are generally patient with smaller dogs and puppies, but difficulties with larger adult dogs, especially those of the same sex, have been reported. Boxers are generally more comfortable with companionship in either human or canine form. According to the American Kennel Club, the ideal boxer is a medium-sized, square-built dog of good substance with a short back, strong limbs, and a short, tight-fitting coat. His well-developed muscles are clean, hard, and appear smooth under the taut skin. 
developed to serve as a guarding, working, and companion dog, he combines strength and agility with elegance and style. His expression is alert and his temperament steadfast and tractable. The chiseled head to the boxer is his unique individual stamp. It must be in correct proportion to the body. The broad, blunt muzzle is the distinctive feature, and great value is placed upon its being of proper form and balance with the skull. Males usually stand at 23 to 25 inches at the withers and weigh between 65 and 80 pounds. Females usually stand at 21 and a half to 23 and a half inches and are around 15 pounds lighter than males. I personally like the look of the boxer, but I wouldn't choose the breed for myself because I live in a hotter climate and that muzzle would most definitely create some issues. So I guess that about wraps it up for the boxer. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Don't forget to visit BattlebreakK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. I'll see you guys next week. I love you all. God bless.